This program is proudly brought to you by the VAFA Live Official App. With live scores, team stats, player stats and much, much more. Everything you need for the VAFA in the palm of your hand. Download it from the App Store or Google Play now. Good evening everyone, it's Aditya from Complete Sports Management. We are here at Trinity playing fields where Trinity has been balanced by 11 points. And I'm here with Trinity's coach. Coach, what do you think like how the game has gone today? Yeah, look, no, it was um, you know, a pretty tough contest. We knew with the conditions, it's always hard amateur footy as you're heading to the deep winter months. So um, we had a lot of unavailabilities uh, and injuries and no doubt some Bernards would have too like most clubs do this time of year. So. I mentioned to our players before the game that um, you know this was kind of backs to the wall and um, really probably the hardest spot we've been for the years with some personnel coming back. So I think for the guys to hang on in, in such a tough contest, I'm extremely proud of them. Yeah, the rain played really hard work. It's up and down the whole time. It's not consistent rain on this. It's up and down. How, how do you guys? I just do that. Oh, the conditions changing continuously. Yeah, look, it was something we spoke about beforehand that I think I think more so than win, the rain makes it a simpler game. Um, you go back to what most most footballers probably learnt in juniors: play in front, get the ball forward, don't overdo it by hand, um, and it becomes a bit of a game of territory. And I thought we adjusted to that really well. Um, the style of St Bernard's play, where they'll try and push numbers high and get shotgun, can work really well in dry conditions. It can work in in the wet as well. Um, so we were mindful of that, and I think our ability to to hold our position and and be really disciplined with our structures is uh, is a credit to the boys today and I'm wrapped for them to finally get some reward for their effort. That's good now. So there's the first two quarters pretty close like the strike corners but after the third from the third quarter you were able to pull away from the contest. So was something you changed during the half time when you spoke to the boys about something particular? No, look, I think it was really about sustaining that pressure. We'd had, um, I think we had plus 12 inside 50s in the first half. We had more contested ball, more stop, uh, more stoppage wins. Um, I thought most of the contests for the first half were quite dominant, but we weren't able to, to get that value, and inaccurate kicking was certainly cost. I think it was two goals eight to two goals one at one point. So, you know, you turn that around, you're up by five or six goals in the wet, and it's nearly game over. But to their credit, St Bernard stayed in it. Um, I just think we were able to be a bit more efficient after after that, uh, that half-time break. So we got the ball into some more dangerous areas, we're able to stop their rebound run and um, and in the end I think you know the one goal five score line, I think chatting with their coach straight after the game, I, I think it was a really deserving win by our guys. Yeah, I just want to pick up a few of the players for you, Callum Poe, Jack Hahn and Gabe Hamilton, I mean who else do you think apart from those guys stepped up for you? Into it? Yeah, look, those three have been huge for us all year. Um, they're some of my leaders, some of my better, my better uh, ball users and decision makers, and I thought they were strong again today. Um, I thought Ben Howell, junior, on ball, I thought he was best on ground. I thought he was outstanding. He's really clean at ground level. Um, he's very agile. He's got a good turn of speed, and it makes him a dangerous player. So I thought he was probably best today. I thought Chaz Roberts in the ruck, it's the best game I've seen him play um, with us in the last year and a half, and I thought he was quite dominant. And then some of the young kids, Ollie Stella up back. Um, I thought Jack Lafroy for a first gamer. Um, he was the major goal kicker on the ground as, a, as an 18-year-old. So uh, I thought we were able to get some value with those young kids coming through, and um, that really helped us. That's good to know. It's a, a good win for you going to the break now. And you're back again after two weeks against college. It's an important game for the rest of the season. Would you be getting some of your players back after the break? Yeah, look, across the whole senior reserve squad, we get a heat back, I think. I think seven or eight guys come back in. Um, whether it, many of them or all of them will be right to come straight in, I know two or three definitely will. Um, so I think that gives us a little bit of uh, momentum, obviously, going into the break um, and a bit of time to set up and prepare. We've matched up well against Collegians, had some great tussles the last few times against them, and um, you know they're always going to be a tough unit to play, especially they're pushing toward finals. So, yeah, another challenge waits after the break, but I think we're going to enjoy having a full week off, off training and off the game and uh, recharge for the run home. That's it. Thanks, Benny, for, Benny Johnny, for joining me. Good win for you all. That's it from me, and over to Liam, who's with the coach of St. Bernard's. Thanks, Addy. I'm here with the St. Bernard's senior coach, Mark Riley. Bomber, a really tough game. The rain pelted down all day. Did you feel like Trinity just adjusted better to the conditions and that's why they got the result today? Yeah, yes. They were better than us all day. And, um, I, you know, sometimes you get a bit of luck in footy and I thought that uh, in the last quarter we might have even been a chance to pinch it when, you know, Chris Hughes had one touch on the line and bent it, but it would have been daylight robbery. Yeah, they, they were um, really organised around the lot, you know, the scrums and the contest. They held their width and outer circle 
and and I thought they handled the conditions skill level wise much better. Um, they hit a lot more targets. They marked the ball. Um, we were very poor today in in all facets. I thought uh, very poor. And taking nothing away from Trinity, but that's where we're at. The game gives you feedback and last week we knocked off a very good team and today we got knocked off by a team that were better than us on the day but haven't played you know have had one win for the season I think um, and that shows us where we're at. And so at half time obviously the rain was there sort of a change in game plan just to try and get along try and take as much territory as you guys can and try and change the game that way? Yeah well that was the game plan all day but we just didn't exit. I thought up until the last quarter we probably executed it the best and then and then we were, you know, when we should have handballed with our back facing goal, we tried to U-turn and kick and would be dispossessed and sometimes when our hips were out we didn't take it. So yeah, we, were, we didn't play the conditions at all well. But the, no, the focus all game was a territory game and to outnumber at contest and we still had players trying to get lateral passes and 45s which is an indicator that they were thinking me rather than we and but you know we we found it very very difficult today to fill our six best to the point where i didn't think anyone was very good and so um, we saw Jack McNamara didn't play the second half and appeared to have an injury to his hand certainly a big body that you could have used in that second half Yes, yes, he wasn't having much of an impact in the. But yeah, he 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 is indicative of um, sort of us when Jack's up and about. We're up and about. Yeah, it looks like he's got a broken hand, so that's not good. Gee, the two times we've played Trinity, we lost Simon with a broken leg in round one, and um, and they don't serve Shiraz at the bar. So you know, it's been a tough day. <laughs> And um, lastly, obviously the two-week break coming up. Does the result like today change anything about what you're going to do or just keep it the same no. and then take a couple of weeks off just no, for the I'm ball? No, um, I try to. I do, I, you know, I try to. Sometimes I'm not very good at it, but I try and keep it the same, win, lose or draw. It's about improvement and getting to be a good football team. And, you know, the, the, the gap between our best and our worst is way, 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 way too big. You know, that's why we're five and six. That our best is pretty good and our worst is terrible. And um, that's as individuals and also as a collective. So we have planned for the whole year to have this week off, and we will. The players will do a program away from St Bernard's, but it's just a good time to have a week away from each other, uh, them away from me and my voice. So, no, we're not reactionary. We, we, will, we reacted to the win against university by exploring what we did well uh, and what we needed to improve on, and we will react on today by the areas that we did well, and there won't be many, and and our learning and learnings from the game, which will be like organisation around a scrum, where you should saturate that scrum. Now we were we were very very regularly the wrong side of the scrum, and they just got us, you know. But anyway, that's uh, we live and learn, and the game just gives you feedback of where you're at. No hard luck stories today. Yeah, well, Bomber, thank you very much for joining us. Wrapping up here at Trinity, where Trinity have come out 11 point winners over St Bernard's. This has been another complete sports management production.